Let's begin by learning the critical steps towards meeting publisher's requirements. Following these steps will increase your chances of publication at the first attempt and may also reduce the time spent on revisions. Mistakenly, many investigators wait till they complete their experiments to choose the journal for publishing their work, only to realize that they are required to redo part of their work or they need to collect more data to meet publication requirements. It is, in fact, one of the first steps to take. Begin with the end in mind. Making the wrong decision can cost valuable time, money, and sweat equity. Ask yourself if you know where you want to publish. Or more realistically, do you know which scientific journals accept the type of data you have gathered? There are thousands of journals that accept and publish scientific research articles. They are diverse and categorized based on specialization. Knowing which scientific journal you want to pursue guides your experimental design and execution. Identify a minimum of three journals that are good fits for your work and your goals. Having backups will make resubmissions easier in case the work is not accepted by your first choice. Start with what you have read. You may already have a collection of literature as background for your research. These journals may be most suitable for publication of your work. Online services like Elsevier, Journal Finder, Springer Journal Suggester, or the directory of open access journals allow you to search a range of journals. Consider your audience. Mismatch of article and journal type can lead to rejection without review. Your work may touch upon a range of topics and may be suitable for a journal with a wider audience. On the other hand, the topic could be more field specific. The scope and goals of the journal should match your work. Instructions to authors are present on each journal's website and reveal important details about the journal's standards and level of scrutiny. The reputation of the journal is crucial. Pick a reputable journal by checking the journal's credentials on NLM catalog, journals currently indexed by Medline, PubMed, or Scopus Journal List. The Scopus Journal List has a list of journals that are no longer indexed due to publication concerns. Impact factor is a measure of the average number of citations that articles published by the journal in the previous two years have received in the current year. The tide is turning on impact factors, with many journals and NIH downplaying the importance and relevance of impact factor and encouraging the scientific community to look at citation distribution curves. Nonetheless, impact factors are still used by users as a metric for choosing journals. Choose the right fit for your data rather than the journal impact factor to avoid extensive revisions or resubmissions to multiple journals. 